um, guys, uh, I don't know if I should fucking watch this. I, I, I don't fucking know. Guys, guys, listen, listen. From what I've been hearing from some of my friends, they died. I, it was like a genocide, okay? Like, my friends have been telling me on Twitter, everyone's dead. Everyone got caught off guard by all this news that they're presenting to us on this in this fucking direct. I mean, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I don't know. I, I, hey, and one of my friends told me that, like, I'm going to scream fucking, I might even lose my voice, okay? And I sort of lost it about a week ago during my homecoming, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't fucking know what's going to happen. Oh, my. Oh. So, oh, my. Ready E to T? Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want to die today, though. I don't want to die, man. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Anyways, this is the live reaction for November 12th, 2015. Let's hope I'm, uh, I'm still alive today. Uh, okay. All right. Anyway, uh, stop it with these damn texts. Anyway, oh, my God. All right, sorry. I'm, I'm just really scared right now, but in a good way. I don't know how you should put it, but anyway, um, I'm already getting, I'm already giving fucking goosebumps. Anyways, um, I'm gonna play this shit in three, two, one. All right. All right, the same old intro, same old intro. That's good. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. All right. Hi everyone. My boy Reggie. Yes. Welcome back to our first Nintendo Direct since the passing of late Nintendo president Satoru. Oh man. We appreciate all your kind messages. We'll continue to deliver information about our games and franchises directly to you. Yes. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. Today, we'll be taking a look at what's in store for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS mm -hmm. as we approach the new year and as we look beyond into early 2016. Mm -hmm, that's right. First, let's jump ahead for a look at a key title coming in 2016. It may look a little familiar. What? The Legend of Zelda Wait! Princess was released on both the Nintendo GameCube what? and the systems back in 06. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! A grand return on Wii U as the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <gasps> Don't say it! Oh, oh my God! HD for real? Oh my god, so <laughs> Yes! They're listening! We're fucking listening! I love this! That's midnight right there. Holy shit! This is some good shit! Oh my god! You know what this means? Oh my god, my friends been telling me that they might they might have to throw us throw us for fucking um Sumar Sunshine HD! Oh my god! Oh, everything looks so fucking beautiful! Oh my god! That's that's fucking Zelda right there! Holy shit! Oh my god! I didn't. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Oh, oh man! Wait a minute. Oh god! For a little disclaimer, I haven't played Twilight Princess yet, so this is gonna be a brand new experience for me. The enhanced visuals shine a new light on the memorable character. Wow! And details Holy shit! Immersing you in the game. World Twilight Princess HD. Wow! In Australia has a great track record for the Wow! But it's more than a pretty version of the same. Round of a fucking applause. They start off fucking good. I can tell you this right now. Oh my god. This is amazing. And here it is. Wolf. <gasps> An amiibo? Let's go! Yes! The game is compatible with these five other amiibo from the Super Smash Bros. Hello? Oh my god, they're going in today! But we'll touch on those later. All right, fine, fine. At least it's confirmed. The game, the they got the physical copy out there. Let's go. They got everything. Wolf Link figure will be released on March 4th, 2016. Damn, they already got the fucking release date. Let's go. They're listening. Damn, this is the first time we're seeing this shit too. marks the 30th anniversary. True. True. We hope anyone who's ever donned the green cap will enjoy the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Oh fuck yes. The brand new Zelda game. Oh! Zelda Wii U. 
Holy shit, we're going to touch up more on this shit now? Oh, oops, my bad. 2016? Oh, still 2016. That's... All right. All right. In fact, some data saved to the Wolf Link Amiibo in Twilight Princess HD will be carried over to the new Zelda game on Wii U. Nice! We're working hard on the new Zelda game for Wii U. You better. We want it to live up to your expectations. And 30 years of Zelda goodness. Oh, yes. Let me pass it over to Bill. Oh, my Zelda Bill! Game. My boy Bill! My boy Bill! Oh, my God! year in 2016, Ooh. I'll be playing a lot more of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, which just right, released cool. last month. True, true, true. I'm currently working on a free update for the game that adds a new area called the Den of Trials. Imagine this. If regular dungeons have four stages, the Den of Trials has a whopping 30 plus stages. And unless you and your team defeat every enemy in a stage, I, I gotta, I gotta play this game. I know they have a demo out, demo out, so I'm as well try it out. Real challenge here. It looks amazing. I mean, I already, I already enjoy the past Zelda games, which involves the Minish Cap. Love that shit. To your advantage. And see if you can complete. Play. Uh, I play Link, Link to the Past. Love that shit. We're also adding in. So I better love this game as well. It looks, it looks amazing. You see inside of treasure chests before you open them, and the fierce Didi armor. Damn. This will increase your attack power. Holy shit. Teams in four God damn. Both outfits are powerful options that provide additional strategic. And this is on online play, right? Online co-op. Good shit. But it was region locked though. I was why is it region locked? On December 2nd. Damn. It's free too. Nice. Now it's time to dive deep into a world filled with mystery, danger, adventure, and Pokémon. Oh, Pokémon. Pokémon. Get ready to be transported to a world filled only with Pokemon. Oh, is it Pokemon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yeah. Mystery oh, Super Mystery Dungeon. All right. You'll get to become one of twenty wow, different okay. Pokemon. Live in their world. Explore ever-changing dungeons. I actually, I actually, I've never played a Pokemon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Pokemon game, so. Being turned to stone and encounter every single known Pokemon. Yep, I said it. Every Pokemon, all seven hundred and twenty of them. This has to be the third. Uh, this has to, this has to be the third mystery dungeon game to, uh, to be on the 3DS, right? If I'm not, but fear not. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Them join you on your quests. You can also collect. Oh, I see Selvion, Piplup, so Munchlax, Pikachu. Like Gra oh, Growlithe. Oh my. All right, Lord. It's so been so long. Sure you I, I really play Pokemon, so my apologies. Ah, cut myself. Or else, you'll end up sending out a rescue request to your friends. Asking them to come save you. With the new connection orb, a giant Ooh. galaxy like map that connects you with other Pokemon and gives you new. <laughs> Why <to> not? <laughs> you'll befriend uh. Pokemon and conquer dungeons in no time at all. You'll even get to battle alongside Ooh. legendary uh -oh. and mythical Pokemon and combine the moves of your team to unleash attacks that will knock out even the mightiest Pokemon foe. Oh, that's, that's nice. Also included with the game Ooh. is a free Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Nintendo 3DS theme cool. available for a limited time. It's always good to load up a game in style. <laughs> Bill, my boy Bill. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon Damn. arrives on November 20th. Nice. Now, a couple Wii U game updates coming in 2015. Mm. There's new content Please. headed to Splatoon, and we've prepared a Still. video to showcase it. Please take a look. Ooh, enlighten us, please. Hmm. Oh, this, is, this is Splatoon right here. So I guess this is the museum or something? The Renaissance? I don't freaking know. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a new map. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. I guess they're showing off the new uh, weapons as well, I'm assuming. Still haven't got this game yet. I promise that I'll get this like sometime around September, but. <sighs> money issues, guys. Money issues. Alright. I saw one of the I saw one of the quote unquote leaks for Spl Splatoon, which involved around Lift and Zelda, I believe. Yeah, I think I saw one of those leaks. Yeah. Now, at first, I thought that shit was Rico Harper. I mean, I thought we were just trying to, like, somehow transition to Rico Harper from uh, Super Mario Sunshine for some reason. Because I saw the black stuff, the black ink. Oh, so it was a hotel? Okay. Is that it? That's not ink in your eyes. 
You just got your first look at some new stages and equipment we're adding with future updates. Wow. Museum to Alfonsino. Okay, so that's a museum. Makes sense. In the center of the stage. The key to victory? Working all the angles these obstacles provide. Now it is a museum, so many infamous paintings and artifacts wow. in the Squid World are on display. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> please, please don't tell me he's going to put some squid, squid memes in there. Oh my god. That was a resort, not a hotel. Makes sense. It looks like a poolside resort hotel, so it may be a little intimidating to water shy inklings. <laughs> oh my god. However, in the latter half of the match, the water level drops, exposing more turf for the hosing. Wow. So the, whole, tough to so the whole stage transitions. This is going to be a good good map. Last second. See, I thought that was black the ink was coming in the from the freaking... Well, the future is now. An update hmm. will be available today at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Good job, guys. Nice. New pieces of gear, Holy shit. Including more winter items and winter? some slick bandanas. And the new stage, nice. Museum de Alfonsino, will be added tomorrow at 6 p.m. Nice. Splatoon will continue it's all free, to guys. Updates. This is how you do, this is how you do DLC, game. man. This, this shit is free. New stages, gear, and adjustments to the gameplay balance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm update, we've added new multiplayer modes like Rainmaker and Tower Control, eight new maps, 27 new weapons, and more than 80 new Damn! Along with team matchmaking and private matches Ooh. at no additional charge. Ooh. And with the launch of the Fortnite <gasps> website, you can now track progress and stats. For Holy shit! <laughs> Splatoon is as hot and exciting as ever. And to show to you all the other game companies out there, out there, take some fucking notes on DLC. This, this is it right here. We're going to live stream it on our official Holy shit! As well as live take, take some notes. Take some notes. Your teams made up Holy shit! House staff, and we'll introduce a variety of potential options for tournament rules, as well as details on how to set up your own tournaments, both locally. Wait, oh, you can set up your own tournaments? Oh, I didn't even catch that part. Super oh, Mario. some more Mega. Sweet, sweet, sweet. A recent update introduced checkpoint flags and status-dependent power-up options. Oh, okay. Make course creation easier. So far, mm. more than 3.3 I prefer challenging courses, courses and challenging video games. Play Every day, we see a variety of new levels, from tricky obstacle courses to extreme I still, I still got to get this game too. The only the only Wii U game, the only Wii U title I have is freaking Smash Bros. It's amazing to see, but with so many to choose from. Some players are finding which is it sad. difficult to pick which courses they want to play. So, we've decided to release a new portal site that you can access what? on the go. Really? It'll offer a more robust search function than the one found in game. Wow! This portal site will let you search for particular types of courses on your PC browser. Wow! You can filter them using prefix tags for things like full based or time attack levels. They're going in! Find an interesting course. On your Android and iOS, I fucking S? Go home and find it flagged for you to play in Super Mario Maker. It, you'll be there ready for you, man. Let's you find the right courses faster so you can have more fun. Wow! It's planned for December, so stay tuned for more details. In the They're going in, oh my fucking... Next, let's check in on some new Wii U games that are right around the corner. Right around the corner? Fans know that... He's going to play Chronicles X? Crossing is a oh, Animal dice. Crossing. And that has never been truer than now. In Animal All Crossing right. Amiibo Festival, villagers live out a month of ups and downs each time you play, where each move you make on the board is a new day. Roll the dice, walk the board, and see what kinds of unexpected things can happen. At the end of the month, the player with the most happy points wins. The game launches initially as part of a bundle that contains two Amiibo figures, Isabel and Digby. You can only get these figures at launch in the bundle, and Digby will only be in the bundle while supplies last. All right. But other compatible Amiibo figures will also be available at launch, with mm -hmm. more on the way after that. The cool part is any figure you tap will transport the character into the game world, so you can play as them. The Animal mm -hmm. Crossing Amiibo cards can also be used oh. to play other games. They got cards now. There's That's a cool. neat one called Desert Island Escape that lets you use these cards to select three villagers to cast off to an island. The goal is to locate materials to build a raft. Yeah, I don't so care about the, I don't care nothing about this stuff. You alive but I can't I can't skip it though cuz I might I might skip something that's really important for me. So I can't. And enemies that get in your way 
things get a little tricky in a good way. Oh, this Being game might be good. This might be enjoyable. Is, Who knows? Your friends. Here, try one out. Really? What's my catchphrase? I don't know. Some questions can get pretty tough, but hardcore Animal Crossing fans may just stand a chance. That, oh, pff, the bundle hardcore. featuring Animal they have a hundred percent chance. Festival <laughs> and the Isabel and may. Digby Amiibo figures will release November thirteenth, alongside the Amiibo you see on the screen. Ooh, okay, that's nice. That's nice. Next up, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Oh, Mario Tennis. In the latest Mario Tennis game, players can enjoy taking on singles or doubles matches as Mario series characters. Now players can perform a new move, a jump shot, which lets you return a shot without waiting for the ball to bounce on the court. I used to play uh, Mario Tennis back on the GameCube. That game was match. fun as hell. If you're able to knock your opponent off balance, a smash point will appear on the court. Use the jump shot from there. I can tell you this right now. This game system. looks so fucking beautiful. In Mega Battle mode, Toad stands by the court, tossing in Wh Mega Mode. Oh and god. They turn you into a giant. The game also offers simple mode which Simple. lets you turn off things like Mega Mushrooms so you can enjoy a more traditional game of tennis. Oh, true, true, true. This title offers up to four... Wow, let me eat it! <laughs> as well as online... Oh, uh, well, so would you, you win ever... One the hell or get your own freaking spotlight. Online Ooh. You can play standard, simple, or Mega Battle matches in ranked mode or in casual mode. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is also compatible with Amiibo. In the single-player mode, Knockout Challenge, players can hmm? tap an amiibo figure to team up with that character. The more you win, the more powerful your next opponent will be. What's Luckily, up, Daisy? Your amiibo partner will have your back. After the match, tap your amiibo again to save the character. Wait, does that mean that the other amiibos are confirmed as well, which, such as Daisy, Waluigi... Have your amiibo focus on quick Birdo, moves, I don't freaking know. Shots, that has to be the case, right? This amiibo player can be used as a partner in online doubles matches as well. So team up and challenge rivals from around the globe. Holy crap. Together. That's nice. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is arriving on November 20th, 2015. Nice. That's coming around. In 22 the days, the Earth will be no more. He's gonna play Chronicles X. December 4th, humanity will come face to face with its greatest trial yet to survive. When Xenoblade Chronicles X launches on Wii U. Yep. It's an RPG adventure as deep as you want it to be. With a huge Damn, only 60 minutes uh, through the video. Skells, to pilot Skells yeah, I already know about that. The game combines the open Damn, world this game looks amazing. Deep immersion of Western RPGs with the stylish visuals and action packed combat. Oh, they got, the they got the English voices up in there. In fact, anyone looking to embark but on damn. An journey this, yeah, this game looks so. Damn! Fans, Metroid fans, I'm looking at you. Wait, what? Metro For those fans. Of you purchasing a physical version of the game, there are four mm -hmm. free high-speed data loading packs you can start downloading today. Uh, speed up loading times for you. Wait. These aren't required, but they oh. will greatly improve your gameplay experience. Okay. We recommend All right. you download at least the basic pack. Which reminds me, you can also go to the Nintendo eShop today to pre-purchase and pre-load the digital version of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Oh, all right, that's this awesome. This version doesn't require the data packs because they right. are built into the digital version. Oh, The holidays all right. are fast approaching, so in the remaining days, prepare for your journey across the stars and out to planet Mira by checking out our video series, Xenoblade Chronicles X Survival Guide. You can find it on our YouTube channel. Nice. Xenoblade Chronicles X is arriving on December 4th. Didn't get delayed, guys. Let's switch things up by taking a look All at right. some Nintendo eShop exclusive digital offerings. Oh, okay. Exclusive. First up is a Nintendo 3DS title that was released on the eShop a couple of days ago. Nintendo Badge Arcade, Badge Arcade. is a new free-to-start game available exclusively on the Nintendo eShop for Nintendo 3DS. I mean, I don't know why so many people, people are dying right now. I mean, obviously, the Twilight badges. Press is HD in the, in the new Splatoon content. Menu. Like but never is that really it? It's gotta be more. It's gotta be more. The best part? It's free like, to start. When you first eight, 18 game, minutes you in. Five free chances to play with the badge catcher. The rest is like. Then you can head the rest to the practice is catcher, like giving you five around thirty minutes. So there's more than there's more than or that gave from. I guess I get. I don't know. Let me stop. Let me shut up and shop, keep watching. So you can get those badges and decorate your home menu. What the hell As is that? As you make purchases, there may even be a way to get some exclusive Whoa. themes. 
Wait. Make sure to check back frequently. Whoa, Those you can constantly be oh. with new badges to collect. Oh, cool. Some of these are not to be missed. That's cool. It's time wow. to get a clue and catch Pokemon all at the same time. Pokemon Picross is a free Picross. To oh, I know, I know, Picross is. It's easy to pick up and hard to put down. During okay. gameplay, there are horizontal and vertical rows of squares to reveal as you see fit, using the numbers on each row as your clues. Slowly, you'll begin to reveal a Pokemon picture. Clear. All right. Add All right, a captured cool, cool. Pokemon to your party, and you can use its support skill while you play. You can get right. Pickrites in the game, which pick can rights. be used to solve puzzles more effectively. We can also purchase Pickrites on the Nintendo eShop. Oh, all right, cool. With more than 300 stages and every Mega Evolved Pokemon, along with legendary and mythical Pokemon, there are tons of reasons to take a break from your job or studies to solve a puzzle or two. Oh, true, true. The free-to-start game Pokemon Picross will launch in early December. Wait, it's free? Exclusively in the Nintendo eShop for good, Nintendo Good, good, it's free. Games. There are some great Nindies titles on the way, just in time for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Let's All see right. what's up. All right, show me. SteamWorld Heist is a side-scrolling oh, strategy shooter. Oh, SteamWorld, game, I think. It's all about boarding, looting, and shooting through enemy spaceships. Isn't this like a also, sequel to SteamWorld Dig or something like that? Steam-powered robots has to be. with unique abilities, weapons, and even stylish hats. It's all about skill. Aim the gun and even bounce bullets off of walls. For a limited time, an exclusive Jeez. Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will come with every purchase of SteamWorld Heist after the game launches on the Nintendo eShop this holiday. Excelente. It's almost here. Oh, Fast Racing Neo! Adrenaline pumping action. Yes! 60 frames per second. Ooh. Fast Racing Neo oh. will just be the fastest racing game you've ever oh experienced. Oh my god! For the phase switching gameplay to reach Early December 2015. Oh my god, guys. Player campaign. Or race seven other players online and face off with friends in local four players. Oh, poster. yes! Unlock hero mode. There's a whole new set Ah, of yes! The big race is fast approaching. Ah, oh, yes! Oh! Typo Man is a puzzling platformer. Typo that Man. A dark tale of heroes and monsters. This looks word interesting. Can be a blessing or a curse. Using Whoa. the power of wordcraft, use letters oh. to change words that will literally bend the world to your will. This looks. This is cool. I like this. The Wii U gamepad and an intriguing it's... experience you shouldn't pass up. To see more games like these, check out the Nintendo. I wonder. I wonder if they have difficulties of certain words that you, that you can comprehend or something like that. Because I would love to play that. What is this? My boy Bill. <laughs> Very important meeting. Oh, don't. Oh, some. Oh. What the hell? Bill, don't get fat on me now. Jesus Christ, Bill. <laughs> oh, God, Reggie. Through some meetings all day today, but to keep us going, I got us some snacks. Bill. Bill. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My boy, Bill. Too savage. Oh, it's a yokai from Yokai Watch. Okay. Oh, my God, Bill. He's a fucking savage. <laughs> Oh my god! My boy Bill! <laughs> oh god. Stay tuned in the coming days to see the conclusion to Bill and Reggie's very important meeting. <laughs> Bill may have gotten a little carried away with those donuts, but not with our guests. Yes, oh the god. end of the year is fast approaching, but 2015, we're not done with you yet. In recent weeks, We've seen great titles like Animal Crossing Happy Home Design, oh, okay. The Legend of Zelda Triforce, Triforce Heroes, Heroes. Right. and Yokai Watch launch on Nintendo 3DS. Hmm, this, this game it's is a cool. Great time to be I gotta, I gotta play that demo as well. And with Yoshi's Woolly World mm -hmm. launching last month, true. And games on the way like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, yeah. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, right. Devil's right. Third. Oh, that was oh Zeno physical World release. Chronicles X. Oh, the Wii U has something right. for everyone, leading us into the holidays. I thought Double Star wasn't coming out as a physical release. I guess they changed their minds. A great gift this season. Or, Keep an eye hmm. out for a new Wii U bundle this holiday, featuring not just Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, but also the surprise hit of the year, Splatoon. Oh, 
Okay. Also, be on the lookout for some great deals on the original Nintendo 3DS XL system. Wow, if I'm surprised. Strikes your fancy, I'm surprised they didn't, they, they, didn't bar, they didn't do a bundle, bundle with the and new the 3DS holidays, XL or something. A new batch of Amiibo will arrive. I see my boy Lucas! I see my boy Lucas! Oh, yes! Now, oh, yes. Switch back over to Bill for a look at games coming in early 2016. 2016, here we come. This is, this is where we're at. Pokemon Tournament, let's go! An all-new Pokemon fighting game for Wii U. Pokemon Tournament is a wow, new shit. This game looks beautiful. I see Weevil, Bandai, Machamp, Nam Pikachu, the producers of Tech Gen, Swe uh, Suicune, Charizard. Holy shit. Is that, is that Gengar? That is Gengar, yeah. Holy shit. Thanks to this dream development tag team, Holy God. This is beautiful. Never seen before. With the push of a I don't know why people were... I heard that the Japanese uh, people are saying that this game sucks or something. How, though? Is that Mewtwo? That is Mewtwo, but what the fuck? What happened to him? What? I'm assuming they're introducing a new movie? That's what, because that's what it looks like. What the hell? What is he? Damn! Wait, what? Wait a minute. What? Wait, I, what? What? It, does this prove a? No, no, I ain't gonna say that much. Oh, what the? As a bonus, an amiibo card that unlocks <gasps> Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo. In the first production run. Normally, Shadow Mewtwo can only be unlocked. I think Shadow Mewtwo's been in earlier games before. I'm assuming he's from uh, Pokemon Gale of Darkness. No, 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 no. You can start using Shadow Mewtwo right away. Awesome. But Pokemon damn, I was out of nowhere. Spring. I'm. Just, I thought they were like. I thought that was. I thought they were trying to promote a new movie or something like that. That's, game, that's what it looked like to me. Is not the limit. Now what is? Wait, that's that's, that's that's fucking Star Fox. Oh my god, you recognize that theme right away. Na 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 na. Oh. Na na na. Peppy, my boy, Peppy. Oh, oh yes! I need this now. Oh yes. Damn. Now what is this here? Now the question is: Will Wolf, will Wolf, will Donald be, be coming back? I, I want to see. I want to see Wolf. What's the matter? Scared? <laughs> oh my god. Damn. This should be a fucking movie. Oh my god, so so many possibilities. Star Fox fucking zero. Damn. Once again, mercenaries Fox, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy must unite as Team Star Fox. Alright boys, let's rock and roll! Fire! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll stop. practically call them members of the Star Fox team. Let's start by taking a look at the series' famous fighter Open jet, the wings. Fox's main yeah, machine, R -wing. the R-Wing. It's extremely high level of maneuverability. Damn, that water, though. And, somersaults of breeze. <laughs> and now, the R-Wing can transform into its new two-legged walker form. Two-legged walker? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. On the flip side... The Landmaster tank. Landmaster! Slight <laughs> mid air capabilities. Remember, Falco? It's Smash. I prefer the air. Pulls out Landmaster. Bruh. <laughs> oh, God. The Grabmaster? Oh, shit. Last but not least, the, the Gyro Wing. Oh, God. It's especially useful in stealth situations when it's important to sneak into Holy shit. When the coast is clear, drop in the helper robot, direct eye. Direct eye, Jesus. Hack into terminals and more. That's awesome. Good. Good shit. Good shit. When piloting these machines, the player has two screens at their Oh screen. shit. Nice. Wait to take advantage of the gamepad. Wow. First person view. 
Excelente! Excelente! Yes! Not only what's in front of them, but all around them as well. Tilting the gamepad even allows you to aim and shoot in a different direction. It should be sounded familiar. I thought he sounded like Tails for a second. Don't crucify me. I mean, seriously. I just. I thought. Who is that new guy? Oh, I don't fucking know. Previously, we announced that the launch date for this title was delayed. But now we have a new launch date ready to announce. Star Fox Zero will be released on April 22nd. Damn! April 22nd! Now, let's oh. jump right back into the Nintendo 3DS and the latest installment of the Mario and Luigi series. Or, or hmm? uh, the Paper Mario series. Oh, both, I guess. oh yeah! Mario and Luigi! That! Mario and Holy Luigi shit! Team up with a new friend. Paper I still need to play Dream Team. So far, I think the best Mario Luigi game is is Bowser's Inside Story, story hands, hands down. Tricks, I was, I was, that game was just fucking amazing. I love that shit. He can sneak through narrow cracks, turn into a paper airplane to haul around his Holy God. counterparts, copy himself to attack enemies, and so on. What the hell? Free bro co -op action too. But where's Paper Luigi trio though? Actions to trio attacks. Oh, it's this trio? So no Luigi? No Luigi battles? confirmed? Whoa, whoa, what is this? In Mario Damn! RPGs, battles typically consist of a lot of jumping and hammer whacking. Yeah. This time, though, a new element called Battle Card has also been added. So stats, ha stats battle enhancements? Cards yeah, it does. Effects. Yeah. Power up attacks, damage enemies, yep. increase your coin haul, or even lower your foe's experience level. Honestly, I thought, I thought you need this, though. A corresponding character card in the game. Character cards have more powerful effects than the battle cards. Damn. Have six amiibo that are compatible with the game. Sweet. You may notice that some of the card designs are based on past Mario games. Yeah. Like Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart. If you're like me, you'll have to have them all. Gotta get them all. Mario Luigi Jam will be released on January 22nd, 2016. Good shit. Up next, a new game for Nintendo 3DS. Final Fantasy Explorers from Square Enix. Oh, yeah. Prepare to explore an island filled with mystical crystals in the first Final Fantasy Ooh. action RPG on Nintendo 3DS. Holy shit, this game looks nice. System, characters can learn over 20 adventuring professions, each with their own set of special skills. Holy shit. Plus they can learn and switch between every job class. I know all these moves, but damn. Classes, I... And rename spells and abilities. Is it's called Final back, Fantasy Explorer? Of customization options. You can even mix and match pieces of armor and classic Holy Final Holy god, Fantasy this game looks amazing. I want to get this now. You can dress like beloved Final Fantasy characters. Oh! Fantasy Tifa Lockhart! <gasps> oh my god! I'm talking heroes like Cecil, Terra, Lightning, and more. Lightning! Oh, my boy Cloud! Nice! Restores life and mana while unlocking powerful... Holy shit! Final Fantasy Explorers can be played and beaten solo but it's quite the challenge, so you may want to adventure with friends. Up to four players can connect by a local... Or you know, as soon as I saw Tifa, Tifa I thought I was, I was about to say Lady Tifa. I, I don't know why, but hey. Tank, healer, support, and damage. Format, f formalities are cool, right? Your party, I don't know. <laughs> you can use trained monsters Thank God I didn't call her Tiss McGee. <laughs> when Final Fantasy Explorers releases in the Americas in January, it will include all of the DLC all right. released in Japan for free. This DLC includes special outfits and weapons and challenging content. Free DLC! With over 100 quests and hours of gameplay, adventurers will be busy when Final Fantasy Explorers is released. EA, take notes! Take notes! Collector's Edition will also Oh, oh, oh yes! Collector's Edition, boy! Oh! CD sampler, oh! Nintendo 3DS hard case, oh! and exclusive quests that unlock... Oh, holy Final shit! Quests. Oh. Grab a fucking paper and take notes. Oh my another god! Another RPG is on its way to Nintendo 3DS, and it isn't just another RPG. I'm talking about yes for Nintendo yes! 3DS. Fire my face! Because Give me some more news. Tactical gameplay. And we all know. We all know this shit. Complex storylines the series is known for, while also innovating in each of these areas. Fans have been oh, dying yes. to know their options for getting yes. hands on the game. Please tell me. Here's how. Please. You can start by purchasing either of the two main games. All right. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Forty bucks. Fuck. Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. All right then. Either at retail locations or via download on the Nintendo eShop. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. Each a complete story and a complete game, but playing both 
will show you two different sides of one brutal conflict. Oh man. If you buy one game, you can get the other as a download for a reduced cost. And oh. It won't be available on launch day. There will also be a but. third story path available as an in-game download for Birthright or Conquest owners called Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Revelation? It will reveal some Holy crap. secrets about the story that will affect the way you think about the other paths. Whoa! It's as revealing as the name implies, so you'll probably want to save that one for last. Holy shit! A lot of my Treehouse friends are pretty hooked on these games already. So this next pack- You bastards, come on! Give us a game! We just have to have it all. Introducing Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. Yo! All three games, Birthright, Conquest, and Revelation, plus an art book and a Nintendo 3DS XL pouch. Fire Emblem Fates will be released. <gasps> Let's go! Okay, I'm good. I'm sold. Even more I'm sold. Fates DLC will be available down the road. Let's One go. February, February 19. After that, six <gasps> new maps will be available. Six, 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 six new maps. Individually, or starting today at select retailers, you can purchase hmm? all of them together for a reduced price as Map Pack One. The question is, which path will you take? I'm taking all the paths. Conquest? Nah. Or all three. Special edition, bro. Special edition. The game. <gasps> 80 bucks? That, that's good in my book. All right. Next up is Mega Man Legacy Collection from Capcom. Yes. Celebration Physical of copy. Roots of Capcom's iconic Blue Bomber. Power up with dozens of cool weapons in the series and take on the evil genius Dr. Wily and his army of robots gone haywire. Wait, are they going to talk, talk about the physical copies or something? Six action platformers that started it all. The new museum mode contains a comprehensive collection of production art and original concept sketches, plus more than 100 Nintendo mm. 3DS exclusive items. A mega treat for any fan of Mega Man and video games. Damn, 35 games. minutes. 10 minutes There's left, my boys. 10 minutes left. Classic games with the new challenge mode. This mode features more than 50 stages of remix gameplay areas from all six games and plenty of scaling difficulty objectives for both experienced and new players. Speaking of challenge mode, we saved some special news for last. The game comes with 11 Nintendo 3DS exclusive challenges that can be unlocked using the Mega Man Amiibo. Oh! But that's not the only Amiibo that can unlock these new challenges. You can also use this brand new gold-colored Mega Man Amiibo, which will More. be exclusively in the More. Collection Collector's Edition. The Mega Man Legacy Collection will be available for Nintendo 3DS. Epic Maw is shitting his pants right now. Holy shit! In both the standard and collector's edition retail on February 23rd. Yo! Now let's take a look at a Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Now what is this game? Not sure what you're expecting, but I doubt it's this. Anyone remember these? Holy sh! Oh, fuck yeah! Pokemon Red version. Pokemon Blue version and Pokemon Yellow version will all be released as digital download titles on Nintendo. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Fond memories from those yes! Years ago, or making new ones. Oh my God! They preserve the games exactly as they were, except yes. that pesky Game Boy game language. Oh, 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 oh That's bro! That's not gonna work on your Nintendo 3DS. What? No! You're not doing this! Oh my God! So you can trade and battle Pokemon. Oh. Yes. You can use the Nintendo 3DS systems. Oh, oh my God! Yes, they're kidding. Pokemon with your friends. Oh. Pokemon Red version, Pokemon Blue version, yes. Pokemon Yellow version. Oh my! Released on the same How much? day as the original Game Boy Pokemon launch. How much? February 27th. Tell us, Bill. How Let's much? One of my favorite places, okay, the land of Hyrule. Land of Hyrule. Oh yeah, the 3DS. The 3DS version, Western. right? Offering players an exciting new adventure featuring Zelda characters. Now that game What's is coming the? to Nintendo 3DS near you. Oh my boy, Ganon! It's bringing some new content. Jesus! This time, Tetra. Oh yeah, Tetra. I forgot about her. Link. Yeah. Oh, Toon Link. Yeah. And the King of Hyrule from the Legend of Zelda: Wind oh, yeah. Waker will join the Skull Kid from oh, the on the battlefield. Oh, that's Skull Kid, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be. There's an original character too, named Linkle. Linkle. She looks quite familiar. Linkle is a girl who lives in a small village filled with cuckoos. 
She's a dual wielding crossbow hunter who can take down enemies coming out of all directions. Damn! Dual wielding crossbow hunter? Her jumpy, energetic nature brings something special Damn. to Damn! She'll kick an enemy when they're down without losing her grip on her crossbows. If Link's famous signature move is called a spin attack, maybe we should call Winkles a spin kick. Yeah, this is like the female version of Link right here. Damn. Hyrule Warriors Legends will be released on March 25th, 2016. Maybe, maybe, maybe she might have her own game. For a limited time, an original Let's Nintendo see what 3DS happens. home menu theme will also be included. Our RPG lineup continues to strengthen on Nintendo RPG. 3DS. RPG. RPG games we haven't touched on today, like Bravely Second and Oh, Bravely Second, I forgot about that. 2016. Spring 2016. <sighs> There's another series we'd like to discuss today, though, that Nintendo has been proud to support throughout the years. Please. I'm what happy to finally announce Dragon Quest. That Dragon oh yeah, Quest Dragon 7, Quest. Fragments of the Forgotten Past is also coming to Nintendo wow. 3DS in 2016. I heard this things about RPG, this. Explore the past to uncover the secrets of a much changed world by collecting yeah. stone shards and defeating evil along the way. I'm hoping they uh, say that uh, the Great Eastern is confirmed. Hopefully, please, please, t please, 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 please. The Great Eastern, please. Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past will be released in early summer 2016. Damn, early summer, bruh. Am I missing something? Yeah, what are you not. missing? Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King will also be released in 2016, so get ready to embark on another epic adventure on your Nintendo 3DS. 2016 is going to be one fucking good year. I know many of you have been waiting for these exciting announcements, so thank you for your patience. We've got one more update saved for last. But first, a quick Best. rundown of some Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games coming from our development partners in 2016. Alright, come on, tell me. Shoot your way right. through dangerous alien hives with up to three friends or on your own. Wii U exclusive features include a super handy gamepad mini-map, plus amiibo support for compatible figures that unlock bonus challenges and treasures. With Kerbal Space Program, build a spacecraft worthy of journeying to the stars. Get an internal view on the Wii U gamepad and tilt it to steer. Then watch your ship soar on your TV. Just don't kill everyone aboard. <laughs> In the latest oh, my number nine. Keiji Inafune, shoot and dash through 12 challenges. Sweet, every 16. Dozens of missions Whoa, this game. Holy battle. shit. Face off against your eight mighty brethren and steal their powers to unlock new transformations. Holy shit, this game looks amazing. In the two player online co op challenge. Online co op? I didn't even know about this. Race battle mode. Is it. Get ready to play as and unlock. Oh, yeah, Lego, Lego games. Marvel characters that have never appeared in a Lego game before. Wow. From the superheroes and supervillains of the movies to the classic Avengers characters of the comics. Holy shit. The fight is on. Form teams of classic. Project Cross 02! My boy Mario Phoenix! Let's go! Oh, yes! Oh my boy, Robin Lucina though! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! And Fiora from Xenoblade Chronicles. Yep. Oh. Build amazing structures. Oh, it's Weapons and armor. Then wage war on hundreds of enemies and giant bosses. Up to four adventurers can play together locally on Wii U or Nintendo 3DS, and on the Wii U version, up to eight players can inhabit your world online. It is your world, after all. All right. Thanks for watching today. Okay. We'll leave you with one final update. One final update. I sent update. a new trailer approaching. Approaching? All right. Show me. Show me. Show me! Who is, who is this shit? Who is this man? Super Smash Bros. For 3DS and Wii U. Okay. Give me the shit here.
Oh my god! Oh. I'm sorry, my voice is so worn now. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Oh! Wait. Oh god, I thought that was a Sephiroth for a second. Holy shit! Oh, now my boy Robin! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god! Oh. I, I did not expect this shit to come out! So that means Sora might get in here! Oh my god! What the fuck? That, is that it? The limit breaker! Oh my- oh. oh my god! What?! I forgot the- oh my god! I forgot the name of the fucking place, why?! I should freaking punch myself! Oh my god! I can't believe this! Oh! Oh my god! The final smash! Ike versus Cloud, what is- Oh! The Omni Slash! Not the- Wait, what? This is like- That's like an exact copy of Ike's final smash! No wonder he put Ike in there! Okay. But damn! Smells like Chocobo! <laughs> awesome! They got a they got a mini costume. Awesome! This flash. Special progress coming on December December 2015. Whoa! You know what that means, boys. All right, I think we're done here. Oh man, so. Wow. Um, now, what do I think of this direct? I I, will, I I give it a uh, eight out of ten for a couple of reasons. One, they gave they, Nintendo gave most of the stuff that we wanted. I believe for uh, the first part of the fucking direct, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I never thought they would actually do it, but they did because. You know how stubborn, how stubborn they can be sometimes. And, uh, I mean, then again, back in the uh, E3 and stuff, they apologized for their performance over at E3, so... They'll, they'll try to make it make up uh, make up for it, so... Makes sense, you know? But, yeah. Twilight Princess HD is fucking confirmed. I tip my hat to all you guys out there who, are, who have been waiting for this game for years already, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, the DLC that I saw... So especially from Splatoon. That is DLC. That is DLC. All you all you freaking gaming developers out there, are you taking notes? That is DLC. This 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 is what this was DLC used to be. But now it's all about season pass, buying individual individual craft for like god knows how much, $10? Oh, don't give me, don't let me get, get started on freaking EA, man. That season pass, though? Oh, my God! Oh. Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Oh, my God! Oh. Jesus. Right here. Nint Nintendo is the example of, DLC, of fucking free DLC. This is how you do DLC. This is how you do DLC. So, to all you game companies out there, I hope... I hope you actually take the time to watch this direct and see what they just did there. And along with that, watch all the reactions, including mine, and see what reaction you'll get out of it. Because I mean, so far, from coming from my coming from my freaking friends, um, they say their walls are bleeding, they're they're about they're they're dying, crap. A genocide happened, basically, and I don't blame them. Sadly, I, I didn't get into Splatoon, so if I was a big hardcore Splatoon player. I probably would have, would have died in like the first 10 minutes. Because that is glorious DLC. Glorious. Amazing. I fucking love it. Man. And then they came out with these amazing release dates and Fire Emblem Fates. Now, if, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys see my, uh, my, uh, my earlier videos about Fire Emblem Fates. On how they're going to split the two games and stuff with complete story, with a totally different storyline. 
I mean, at first I didn't, I didn't like the idea and stuff. Like, you have to pay 80 bucks if you want to get both sides and stuff. But now, with the special edition, you can pay 80 bucks. That, that will come with, with the pouch. And, oh, shit, what, what was the other thing they included? I forgot. But also, along with the pouch, they'll include the third the third game as well. So you're paying 80, bu 80 bucks for two games. That's amazing in my book. I'm gonna get that shit. I will. But I gotta, I gotta make sure that I need to make sure they get that job first, first of all. So, pray. Uh, let's, let's hope on that. And uh, yeah, I mean, my friends told me that there's a lot of things that I might, might die for. I mean, I was hoping to see a local, a localization for the Great East Attorney, but I didn't see none of that in there, sadly. But what really caught me fucking off guard was Cloud. Cloud. Fucking Cloud. You know what this means? Do you know what this means? This opens a new realm. Alright. We might get A. For you Kingdom Hearts fans out there. You might get your boy Sora in there. You might get your your boy Sora and Riku. You might. But then again. Um, the, the Disney owns them too. But still. Still. It's a possibility. Alright. Man. The, hey, that's one good, one freaking, freaking, freaking good direct. I mean, I brought, I brought this to cover my eyes and my, my nose and stuff. Because I might cry if something amazing happened. But no, I mean, hey, this is a great directing ship. It's amazing. I love it. I give it an 8 out of 10. And uh, that's all I have to say. This is Trick Sim sign outs. Please make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Um, hope to catch you guys next time. Hopefully to upload more often. See ya.